In Philadelphia, some health care workers got outside to see the flyover, but many were too busy working. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more reaction from one doctor who's been on both sides of the virus. Stephanie. Jessica, people putting their lives on the line to treat patients with COVID-19. Many health care workers say it's traumatic, but they're dedicated, and they appreciate the outpouring of support they've received from the community, especially today's flyover. A high-flying salute over Philadelphia. Giving thanks to the frontline coronavirus workers, many in hospitals saving lives. It's incredibly heartwarming and amazing to be acknowledged. And I just hope that we're really inclusive and thoughtful about everybody that's working hard during this time. Dr. Jill Barron is on the front lines in the emergency department at Penn Medicine, where thousands of COVID-19 patients have been treated. We have less volume of patients, but the patients that we're seeing are much sicker. She suspects COVID-19 could be causing a cascade of serious complications like strokes. It is just so overwhelming, all the different dimensions. One being Dr. Barron herself was infected and had a long roller coaster of typical symptoms along with unusual ones like back pain. Probably the most profound symptoms I had were gastrointestinal. Now back at work, she says along with intense patient care, there's extra work staying safe with protective measures and gear. It's very difficult physically to work under those circumstances. Experts say many frontline coronavirus healthcare workers are experiencing traumatic stress Doctors and nurses are feeling emotionally and physically wiped out. Long after this is over, I believe that we will be seeing far-reaching effects of this kind of sustained trauma on health care providers. Not just the medical community, Dr. Barron says everyone is suffering through this pandemic, and we could all use some TLC. Now, Dr. Barron is among thousands of health care workers who have been infected with COVID-19. They are cleared to go back to work after symptoms have cleared and they get a negative test. Dr. Barron says she thinks she must have some immunity, but it is unclear if people can be reinfected. Jessica. Stephanie, thank you. If you